Narrowing it down to 10 was a lot harder than we anticipated. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Modern Family guest stars. Uh, but you give her a treat for doing something bad? A, a bad doggy treat. When she is good, she gets the good doggy treat. Brilliant! We're going to be rich! Well, before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the greatest guest stars in the first nine seasons of the long-running ABC sitcom Modern Family. How are you so dressed up for a school fair anyway? How was this dressed up? I'm... Why? Because my shirt has buttons? Number 10, Josh Gad. <laughs> Actor and comedian Josh Gad popped up in the season three episode Punkin' Chunkin' and played Kenneth the Dunphy's former neighbor who became a billionaire after dropping out of college. To this day, at every crossroad, I ask myself one question. What would Phil Dunphy do? Record scratch. The role may have been small, but it allowed us to see Phil and Kenneth pull off one of the greatest man shakes in TV history. Of course, Scad's appearance on the show wasn't all good, as it caused the Dunphy clan to split into two factions, the Dreamers and the Realists. Thankfully, it all got squared away after Cameron's spirited Punkin' Chunkin' demonstration. Number 9. Matthew Broderick Wow, that's close. Yep, even Ferris Bueller himself dropped by the set of Modern Family at one point. You know what? I'm not going to be able to relax until I get this out of the way. Broderick appeared in the Season 4 episode Mystery Date and played Phil's love interest? Well, not quite. With Claire out of town with the kids, Phil decided to have a boys' night and invited his new friend Dave over. Touchdown! <laughs> How exciting is this? Oh, it's been so long. However, unbeknownst to him, Dave is actually gay and thinks Phil invited him over in order to seduce him. How about we head up to the bedroom for some halftime festivities? A few awkward encounters later, and both men end up feeling pretty foolish. All in all, a solid Broderick cameo. If there's anything I can do, You've already done more than you know. Number eight, Jesse Eisenberg. Hey, it's Asher, right? Yeah, um, I just wanted to let you know, I think there might be something wrong with your air conditioner. Eisenberg, best known for his Academy Award-nominated performance in The Social Network, made his Modern Family guest appearance in season five, where he played Mitchell and Cameron's super environmentally friendly neighbor. We're all in this together. Yeah, I drive a Prius, so... And that's a nice little gesture. My car runs on reclaimed cooking oil. We aren't kidding. Eisenberg's character is so green, he literally has no friends because of it. The career move was a bit of a strange one for the Batman vs. Superman actor, who up to that point had almost exclusively done feature films. I'm an environmental lawyer, so, you know, I'm pretty green. <laughs> mm, so is your lawn. Not that we're complaining. Watching Mitchell get flustered is almost as fun as watching Cameron put on his clown outfit. What did you do? Uh... I won a Green Award. That's what. Number seven, Shelley Long. Well, look at us, just two old ladies. <laughs> Long feels less like a guest star and more like a regular, despite the fact that she's only appeared in a handful of episodes to date. As Claire and Mitchell's mom, and perhaps more importantly, Jay's ex-wife, Long's Dee Dee has been the source of numerous comedic mishaps. Mom didn't mention that I'm married with three kids? No. Uh, all she said was that you were still trying to figure out your life. From getting into a cat fight with Gloria to dating one of Claire's ex-boyfriends, Dee Dee always provides a good laugh. Mom, mm -hmm. I could use some help in the kitchen. Your words, not mine. Long, who rose to prominence in the 80s playing Diane Chambers on Cheers, a role that ultimately earned her two Golden Globes, is easily one of our favorite Modern Family guest stars. I think, more than anything else, my real problem is her! Number six, Jordan Peele. What are you gonna do, pal? About to ask you the same thing. Flying high off the success of his critically acclaimed directorial debut, Get Out, it's highly likely that Jordan Peele's days of making bit guest appearances like this one are numbered. Hey, who you calling a clown, bucket list? I see you two have already met. The former Mad TV star made us bust a gut laughing in the season five episode of Fair to Remember, when he and Jay teamed up to police a school fair despite an earlier argument over a parking space. All right, let's see. You have been charged with unlawful sexiness and possession of a hot booty. That is wrong. Not exactly the kind of role that'll win you any awards, but we enjoyed seeing Peel step foot in the Modern Family universe nevertheless. We were almost out. I didn't want it to end like this. Don't you do that. It's not over. Listen to me. I need you to tell my wife what happened. Number five, 
Leslie Mann. How are you? Hey! Mann, known for her frequent collaborations with her writer-director husband, Judd Apatow, made a brief but hilarious appearance in the season three episode, Treehouse. It all starts when Cam, Mitchell, and a few friends go to a bar for a drink. I've never been in a coma. But you so deserved that. That was the worst pickup ever. Oh my God! <laughs> While there, Cam thinks the waitress is flirting with him, but Mitchell insists she's just being nice. Appalled, Cam bets Mitchell he can get a woman's phone number and approaches Leslie Mann's character at the bar. Hi. Nice to meet you. You too. Bye. Bye. Unsurprisingly, Cam's natural charisma shines through, and he scores her digits. Of course, that's not the end of the story, but we don't want to give everything away. I'm totally gay. Just gay. Let's just say things get a little more intimate. You better cherish him! <laughs> Number four, Edward Norton. Rock on, Phil Dunphy. Edward Norton may have only appeared in a single episode of Modern Family, but boy, did he make it count. He's got it. He's just seriously freaking out. Yes! His cameo came in the season one episode, Great Expectations, where he played the fictional bass player of the non-fictional band, Spandau Ballet. Sporting a truly horrendous mullet slash goatee combo, a vest and, oh yeah, a terrible British accent, Norton serenades Phil and Claire on their anniversary, only to discover that the song he's singing isn't actually their song. Right, his track wasn't so popular in America. Got to number six on the Netherlands charts, though. A self-professed fan of the show, it was still a little weird seeing an actor of his caliber dressed like a total buffoon and singing the lyrics to a song that wasn't all that special. So true, funny how it seems. Number three, Lin-Manuel Miranda. Thank you for your time, Mr. Pritchett. But after you hearing my presentation, you will be thanking me. Creator and star of the award-winning Broadway musical Hamilton, Lin-Manuel Miranda probably doesn't have time to make small sitcom appearances like this one anymore. What is this multi-billion dollar industry missing? The Grammy and Tony winner appeared in the season two episode, Good Cop, Bad Dog, and was actually responsible for introducing the much loved edition of Stella the Dog to the show. Stella here is being a bad doggy. Miranda played Guillermo, a grocery store employee with a business plan for a dog training company that Gloria tries to help, with mixed results. In hindsight, this cameo should have opened more eyes to Miranda's obvious comedic skill. But there you have it, the good doggy, bad doggy training system! <laughs> Number two, Nathan Lane. I'm just always surprised how small this place is. Let's be straight for a minute. Has Nathan Lane ever had a cameo you didn't enjoy? The uber-talented actor and writer has been a film, TV, and theater mainstay for years, constantly landing roles thanks to his incredible acting skills. I can't bear it! I will make you a Bellini. <gasps> Everybody canceled on me! As Cameron and Mitchell's friend Pepper Saltzman, Lane has consistently made us laugh with his flamboyant behavior and high-class lifestyle that his friends only occasionally complain about. I think someone needs a Pepper talk. He's appeared in many episodes of the show, each more funny than the last. In fact, his guest spots have earned him three Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Comedy Series. It's only a matter of time until he wins one. I like big putts and I cannot lie. Money. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. You're all set, Mitch. Oh, Barry. Mm. Oh, man, that was, that was great. Yeah? Oh. Mm. Namaste, man. Namaste. Namaste. So how's life in the trenches? You know, you still got the bastards on the 23rd floor making life miserable for all the people actually doing the work. It's not the same thing. No. no. 34 is not the same thing as 50. Just like a cake is not the same thing as an ice cream cake. Number one, Elizabeth Banks. I miss you two guys so much. So, so much. Elizabeth Banks is one of the funniest actresses of her generation. With hilarious turns in The 40-Year-Old Virgin, Zack and Miri Make a Porno, and even The Hunger Games franchise. Of course, her small screen stuff is just as good. How much are you gonna pay me to go make out with the waitress? Need proof? Check out the hilarious work she's put in as Sal on Modern Family. Sal is Cam and Mitchell's hard-partying friend who, when we first meet her, is worried that Lily will affect their relationship. <sighs> you should kill that baby. Of course, she learns to accept their newfound bundle of joy and continues to pop back into their lives throughout the show. Now, if only they could go ahead and make Banks a regular, that'd be great. God, we're getting married! We're getting married! Let's have a drink! Yeah, we're out of vodka. I will see you on Friday. Do you agree with our picks? 
check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.